Next strategy, the final strategy for today is external transfer with unchanged different, or sometimes we call it constant different concept. Okay, constant difference concept. Okay, so what is the constant different concept? So this is to solve word problem involving unchanged different or constant difference. Okay, where the, the difference is unchanged. Okay, or when the difference is constant. So what is the clue? The clue will tell you both receive equal amount or both receive, both give an equal amount. So you can use two strategies. One is the model method. The other one is the unit, unit method. Right? Let's look at the example here. Okay, so three particular situation. Number one, question involving age. Uh, many age question, uh, you probably may have to use the constant different strategy. Or when two individuals receive an equal amount from a third party, or when two individuals give an equal amount to a third party, either receive an equal amount or give an equal amount. Okay? Now let's take a look. Huh? Now, what problem involving difference in age? Okay? So, Mrs. When Mrs. Tan is 29 years old, her daughter is 5 years old. All right? When Mrs. Tan is 29 years old, her daughter is 5 years old. In how many years' time will she be four times as old as her daughter? So what is the difference between Mrs. Tan age and the daughter's age? So at this point, Mrs. Tan is 29, the daughter is five years old, right? So if we subtract five from 29, you get 24. So here, it means that Mrs. Tan will always be 24 years older than her daughter at any point of time. It could be in 10 years' time, the difference will always be 24 years. Okay, meaning that for every one year that Mrs. Tan lives, her daughter lives one year as well. So if Mrs. Tan is 30 years old, plus one, the daughter will be also be five plus, she's six years old. Okay, so for every five years that Mrs. Tan lives, the daughter will also live five years. Okay, so take note that the difference in age is always the same. Now that's why we call this concept constant difference concept. Okay, uh, what if she dies? Uh, that, that's another story. Huh? Okay, very interesting question. Huh? Yeah. All right, let's take a look at this question. Ali has tried as many marbles as Benny at first. Then each of them bought an equal number of marbles. So take note, huh? each of them buy an equal number of bubbles. So if they buy five, all of them, uh, both Ali and Benny will buy five. In the end, Benny had 36 marbles and Ali had twice as many marbles as Benny. Five number of marbles Ali had at first. So let's analyze this question. Huh? Why do we use constant different strategy? Okay? So, uh, so first we know that Ali had more marbles than Benny. Why? Because Ali had thrice. Okay? Thrice as many marbles as Benny. So each of them bought an equal number of marbles. So it means that if Ali buy one marble, Benny also buy one marble too. If Ali buy two, Benny buy two. If Ali buy 100, Benny also buy 100. So the same amount of increase for each individual. So let's use logical thinking. If there's the same amount of increase for each individual, the difference will always be the same. That's why we, we can use this strategy of constant difference. Okay? Okay, Sarah asked what the gist means. What are the main points this question? Huh? That's the meaning of gist. Okay, if I say, okay, what is the gist of the story? Gist of the story means what is the most exciting part of the story. Okay? Uh, all right, let's take a look at this question. Huh? Another question. This is constant difference involving give an equal amount to a third party. So I mean, it's three quarter as much money as Belinda at first. After I mean, and Belinda each gave 250 to save the Panda Fund. I mean, had one third as much money as Belinda. Now let's analyze. Huh? So I mean, and Belinda each gave $250. So both of them give the same amount, huh? same amount of money. So note that Ali gave, I mean, gave 250 and Belinda gave 250. So the two individuals give an equal amount to a third party. So it means that there is the same amount of decrease for each individual. So I mean, decrease his the money decreased by 250. Belinda's money also decreased by 250. So if there's a decrease of the same amount for each individual, so the difference of the amount of money that they have before and after will always be the same. Okay, that's why we can apply 
this constant defense strategy. Okay. Now let's try. Huh? Let's try. Okay. Coming back to the question of Mrs. Tan and her daughter. Okay. Mrs. Tan is 29 years old. All right. 29 years old. Her daughter is 5 years old. In how many years time will she be 4 times as old as the daughter? So if we draw the model, so this is 4 times as, as, uh, as old as her uh, daughter, right? So 1, 2, 3, 4 units. And her daughter is 1 unit. So let's take note. Uh, in the end, Mrs. Tan has 4 units. The daughter has 1 unit. So the difference is 3 units here. So you can see here, the daughter is 3 units. Uh, sorry, the difference is 3 units. So we know that for a question involving age, okay, the difference will always be the same, no matter when. It can be 10 years later, 10 years, uh, you know, uh, uh, 10 years after. Of course, here in this question, it cannot be 10 years before, right? Because the daughter is only five years old. So we calculate the difference. What's the difference? So 29 years old, the daughter is five years old. So the difference will always be 24 years old will always be 24 years old okay so here since there is one two three units difference so three units 24 one unit is 24 divided by three okay you get eight four units why four units because we want to know what is mrs tan age in the end right so one two three four four multiplied by eight you get 32 so in the end mrs tan is 32 now mrs tan is 29 so how old or how you know how many in how many years time 32 minus 29 you get three uh, so mrs tan will be four times as old as a daughter in three years time easy easy right okay very good okay uh you end very shortly yeah no problem okay now, just now was the model method. So now I'm going to show you using the units method. Okay, you want to know, right? Units method. Okay, can, huh? All right, so if you have to go, uh, no problem. Okay, you can just leave. I can always, uh, you know, send you the uh, the recording of the video. Okay, sometimes, you know, we have to, you know, uh, extend the time a little bit, huh? All right, because uh, I have to, you know, uh, uh, answer some of your questions, huh? All right, now let's take a look at the units method. When Mrs. Tan is 29 years old, her daughter is 5 years old. So in how many years time will she be 4 times as old as her daughter? So we can see here at first Mrs. Tan 29 units, the daughter is 25 units. The difference is 24. So 29 minus 5, I get 24. Huh? So in the end, she is 4 units and the daughter is 1 unit. So what's the difference? The difference is 3 units. Since the difference is the same, we need to make the difference the same, right? The units, the, you need to make the units for the difference the same. So at first, it's 24 units, the difference. So in the end, the difference is 3 units. So what's the lowest common multiple between 24 and 3? I get 24, right? So 3 units multiplied by 8 to get 24. So if I multiply by 8 to the difference, likewise, I need to multiply by 8 in the ratio between the number of Mrs. Tan and the daughter in the end. So 4 units multiplied by 8, I get 32 units. 1 unit multiplied by 8, I get 8 units. Okay? So you can see here, initially, Mrs. Tan is 29 years old. And then, in the end, it became 32 units, right? So you can see here, the difference is 32 minus 29, you get, you get 3, yeah? Okay? Alright? So, uh, so you can see the difference between the modern method and the units method. Huh? So modern method... So you can see here, now some students may feel that the model method is easier to see. So you can see very clearly, right? Three units is 24. Now some students will feel that the units method or the ratio method is easier. Okay, so again, like I mentioned just now, it's up to you. Eh? As long as you are confident of your working, okay, you understand your working and you get the correct answer, very important. Okay, so please feel free to choose the strategy that works best for you, okay? If you have time, can you use both? Okay, uh, Dari asks, can you use both? Of course. Uh, sometimes if you have time, you can use another strategy to check your answers. Okay, let's see, yeah, PSLE, yeah, paper two. Somehow you, you know, you take one hour to finish everything. Okay, instead of one hour and 40 minutes for paper two, one hour you finish everything already, yeah, very surprising. So you do, oh, 
you know, rather than sleeping or you know submitting your paper, what you can do is check every single question you check, and then one way to check is for you to use an alternate strategy, a different strategy, and see whether the answers are the same. So if the answer is the same, then you can confirm chop that your answer is correct. Okay, but if you use another strategy and then the answer is different, huh? so again uh, that one you check. Okay, check the earlier strategy and check the new strategy and see. You know, uh, look carefully whether you have made any class mistake or whether you have misinterpreted something. Huh? So that is, uh, you know, one way that you can do use a different strategy to check your answers. Okay. Ian, I always do guess and check. Okay, guess and check is the last resort to use. Guess and check is a relevant, uh, a relevant strategy. But if you have no other strategy, uh, then in the end, then you can use guess and check. Huh? But try not to use. Okay, because guess and check, number one, it is very long-winded. Okay, very long. You don't have the luxury of time during your exam. And the worst part is that you are confused. And then in the end, you make mistakes. Huh? After spend so long, and then in the end, you didn't get the correct answer. Okay, so it is still a relevant strategy if you've got no other uh, shorter method. But try not to use, uh, but still can uh, if you've got no choice uh, and if you have the time. Okay. All right. Okay. I've 